Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at the X7 Gaming Mouse, a very nicely built budget gaming mouse. You can pick this up off Amazon or eBay for around 15 euros. Just a quick disclaimer, I did not get this product sent out by any company. I bought this product, so this is a non-biased review. This mouse features four different DPI settings, the 1600, 2400, 3200 and 5500, so you can choose whichever setting that suits your need. The mouse is a plug and play mouse so there is no need for a driver or software, although the downside is you have no software to customise the mouse, but we can't expect much from a 15 euro mouse. It comes in at a size of 130mm by 80 millimeters, surprisingly bigger than I expected at first. It was a bit too big for my liking, but I got used to it after a few days. Now I can't go back to any smaller mouse. There is a total of seven buttons, which unfortunately cannot be programmed because there is no set software for this mouse. The front of the mouse features the X7 gaming logo, which is lit up by some nice RGB lighting. There is also lighting zones on either side of the mouse. But the colours can be changed, which might not be a big deal for some people, but it is for people sticking to a certain colour team. It definitely was for me. On the left there is an RGB lighting zone and three buttons. The double click, forward and a backwards button. And a nice thumb rest as well, which I very very much like. The double click button is a nice feature for playing certain games, but you might as well just click the right button twice as it's not that quick. I certainly do not use it, do not find any use for it at all, even when playing Fortnite, there's no use. The backwards and forwards button can't be configured, but they can be configured in the game settings, so the only use for them for outside of games is, is using them to go back and forth between tabs on my browser, but even then, it's not a big deal and I don't use it at all. The backward and forward buttons felt flimsy at the start but fared very well in game playing Fortnite. I'll include a clip of me using them at the end of this review. I don't use the double click at all when playing as I'm not used to it, but I'm sure some people can benefit from it very well. On the top there is a DPI switch button, although it would have been nicer if there was two DPI buttons. One to decrease the DPI and one to increase the DPI. Above that there is a nice scroll wheel, it's an anti -squid wheel, skid wheel and scrolls very nicely and it's pretty precise as well. The left and right click buttons feel very nice to, to click and sound clicky which is good for a mouse. On the right side it has an RGB zone but there's no buttons, just a plastic resting. On the bottom it has the X7 gaming mouse logo, it also has an optical sensor, the best sensor on the market right now. The mouse features a nice braided nylon cable at the top so it can withstand a lot of bending. The mouse has a really solid build quality, it has a nice glossy plastic on the middle which stops your hand from slipping, especially when it's sweating and you've kept it on the mouse for a long time. The rest of the mouse features a very nice and comfortable matte finish. The mouse weighs around 200 grams, give or take. So now moving to the cons of this mouse, this mouse is incompatible for left handed users. I definitely would not recommend this. I'm a left handed user myself but I've gotten used to right handed layouts since I was young so I don't really use my left hand when using mouse. Mice. Also if they can improve the quality of these side buttons and make them more solid it would improve the overall quality and performance of the mouse. It would also be better if they added grips on the side of the mouse instead of just plain plastic but that doesn't really bother me. So guys, if you're on a budget and looking for a solid mouse that doesn't feel cheap and is great for gaming, then this mouse is totally for you. 
I'm using this mouse currently for my setup and I absolutely love it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any products you'd like me to review next, let me know down in the comments below. Have a good day. Bye bye.